This is probably a late 80s, early 90s Fender Squire II Stratocaster. Why am I bothering to tell you about this? The reason why is because I think it's a very good guitar for the money and they have not caught on and they have not come up in price. I just looked on eBay recently and I've seen them from 200 to $250. What can you buy that's good for 200 to $250 these days in a guitar? Not a whole heck of a lot. Most of it's from China. It can be okay, it can be playable or whatever, but it's not gonna be like this. I mean, the contour of the neck, the way the neck is carved, it's just like an old Fender. It's really smooth back here. It just doesn't have that typical just slab of maple thrown in the CNC mill look to it at all, uh, like modern Squires do. Um, this is the only Squire I own, and I think it's the only Squire I've ever owned. Because um, whenever I pick up a Squire, I feel the satin finish and just it just has this horrific look of cheapness on it now can you play good music on a squire sure you know it ain't the guitar it's your fingers or whatever you know it's what you put into it but you pick up this guitar close your eyes and you swear you're playing something that's real that's like cool and old and feels nice so that's where the squire 2 is different it is made in korea there's lots of squires made all over the world. Mexico, Japan, there are even some early ones made in the United States. Lots of them from Indonesia and tons of them from China. But none of them, except for maybe the Japanese ones, are like this. So that's what I've got to say about Squire 2. It's a remarkable guitar for the money. Uh, I lucked into this one, oh, 10 or 12 years ago on Craigslist. I saw this photo of this guitar and it just looked good to me. It was $40. I went, wow, $40 for like a, a usable Stratocaster. I, I got to try that out. So the guy brought it. He was like, rode his bicycle holding the guitar, no case or anything like that. Brings it, brings it by. I had an amp. I plugged it in and I felt the neck. I went, sure, here's your $40. I mean, who wouldn't for $40? Um, but a lot of stuff had to go. Like the tuners were, eh, there's like stamp sheet metal crappy tuners. They'll work, but they'll frustrate you because the guitar doesn't stay in tune all that well. So um, these tuners have been replaced. Uh, got some Godos, you know, I don't know, just Clusens, anything other than the cheap stamp steel ones that were on there would be fine. Um, I replaced the pickups because I replace pickups on just about every guitar that I have. Um, not because I don't like stock pickups, but I just like the ones I get better. These are from a company called Van Zant that's in uh, Texas. They've been in business for since the 80s, and I've been buying pickups from them since about 1987. And a lot of my strats over the years have had them. And, uh, you know, it's just, you know, this is a neck pickup. <laughs> sounding neck pickup. Middle pickup's pretty cool too. But the coolest one is the bridge pickup. And they're all wound a little differently. They come in a set. Um, I forgot what they cost. They're not the most expensive pickup out there, but you know, not the cheapest either. No. So the bridge pickup's kind of got a lot of oomph to it. Bridge pickup makes me want to play. 
Um, maybe it'll make you want to play too. But uh, the other thing is this Squire 2. <laughs> Squire 2 from Korea. Why is it so good? I don't know. There's a lot of good Korean guitars. Um, I, I think out of all the Squires I've ever picked up, this is kind of the best one. And it's far from the most expensive. Like I said, on eBay currently, $200, $250. You know, invest a little bit in some tuners, maybe switch out the pickups if you don't like it. And you've got a great guitar. Really nice feeling neck. I mean, if you close your eyes, you think you're playing like, you know, an American Strat. Um, yeah, somebody, somebody loved this guitar. You can see all the wear. Somebody played this thing. When I got it, the frets were so divoted up. And, uh, and that's one of the reasons why I bought it. Is I thought whoever had this guitar played the living daylights out of it. So that means they're either having way too much coffee or speed or something like that, or they just like the guitar. And so uh, I think it's the latter. So um, I had a fret mill done on it. And um, yeah, it's, it's pretty darn good. So check it out. You know, maybe you'll find a Dakota Red one. Maybe you'll find a Sunburst one. Um, they're out there. 